tips for the beautiful but remote round top mountain passage of the Palmetto Trail. For more information, see the description below the video and please like and subscribe. We're starting our hike at Sassafras Mountain parking lot. Be sure to check out the view from the top of Sassafras straight ahead of you. Look at this, all the fog down in the valley makes it look like snow and that's all fog. This is Sassafras Mountain parking lot. You can see the sign over here. Let me get out of the sun so you can see it better. Okay, this goes to the Middle Saluda Passage, but you have to go about 10 miles down the Foothills Trail going this direction to get to the Middle, middle Saluda Passage. To get to the Round Top Mountain Passage, you go down here. Just down this road, just a little ways. And this is the road you drive up to get to the parking lot. So you will pass this trail. You will follow this trail about a mile down to actually get to the Palmetto Trail to the Round Top Passage. You'll be following the Foothills Trail. And you'll come down to here and it's very clearly marked Palmetto Trail goes off to the side. Here's the kiosk. You can't see it from the turn. Foothills and Palmetto Trail Partners. This is the other side of the sign. Middle Saluda Passage to Round Top Mountain Passage via the Foothills Trail. When the leaves are off the trees, there are some beautiful lake views here.
here's the Carolina Hemlock Loop, where we just came from. This trail finishes the Hemlock Loop. If you want to shorten your hike and go up to the parking lot, it is the green trail on the passage map. We are going to stay to the right though and continue on the Round Top Mountain Passage. Come on, go through the mud, bud. This is all downhill. We started at mile zero at Sassafras Mountain, which is the highest point in South Carolina. And if you go the other direction on Round Top Passage, you are going to be going almost all uphill. So just be aware of that when you plan your trip. We followed this little road downhill a ways. And here's our turn off. It's also marked. water source at three and a half, three and a quarter, runs under the trail. There are a few ups, but not many. Mostly downhill going the direction we're going, which is why we're going that direction. This beautiful waterfall is just off the trail at mile four. It's just a short walk back through the woods and there is a trail. So at mile four, if you listen for the water, you can hear it and follow the little trail back off to the left. The hills really start after mile four. Definitely are going up in elevation. <laughs> Where is he? I hear it. There he is.
small five. So pretty to hear. Hmm. Wonder what furry animal left that for us to find on the trail. It was a big one. Top Mountain Passage. So now we're going to get on Blue Ridge Co-op from here and we have two choices. We can go to um, Table Rock State Park or we can go to US 178 which is where we're parked. So we are going to 178. We're going to go straight All right, we just came down from this direction walk down that trail and we come out here two directions we can go but there's a Palmetto Trail sign right here there we go so we go around this way there's another Palmetto Trail sign here going the right direction. That's so funny. I stepped right over him. Yeah. <laughs> and he's so obvious. Oh, you know it's steep when you can't even fit all of the hill in the video. <laughs> Yeah, there's a little bit of ups on the Blue Ridge Electric section too. More bear poop. Wait, those are kind of stickery. Let's try to get through the brambles. Boop. Lots of ticks out here. And this deep stuff. following a ridge line right here. Trying to see the mountains out from the distance there. And more mountains off in the distance there. Getting ready to turn off the big overgrown road that we've been on. Don't want to mess with that.
Go a little narrow right through here. Move steep. I think we saw about 10 of these today. <laughs> There's so many, but we never see the bear. Tiny little water source right near the end. See, there's a no parking sign up here. So you're not supposed to park right here to get on the trail. There is a little room at the edge of the road to walk on. And just when you get around this guardrail, at the end of this guardrail is the little lot or the little parking space. So be careful. Here it is. Nice little paved area right at the edge of 178. Today we hiked down the Blue Trail Round Top Mountain Passage. We took a ride on the Blue Ridge Electric Co-op Passage, the Red Trail, and hiked to the parking lot at Highway 178. There is a shortcut. See that P in the black box in the center? That's a parking lot off of Camp Adger Road. This is a pretty steep gravel and dirt road that a lower clearance car may not be able to do. My van and four-wheel drive vehicles will have no trouble though. I will show you what the road looks like in a minute. From the parking lot, you can hike up either side of the pinnacle, the green trail. Each side is less than a mile and that will get you on the red Blue Ridge Electric Passage. Really recommend you doing it the other way though and hiking down Round Top Mountain and then going down the uh, pinnacle to the parking lot because it is steep. Okay, this is Camp Adger Road. This is another access point for the Blue Ridge Electric Trail and also for Round Top. So Camp Adger Road is okay if you've got a van like I do um, or a four-wheel drive vehicle, anything with a higher clearance. My friend, who has a very small car, we brought it up here. We made it okay, but uh, it was it was pretty scary. It's only three and a half miles, according to Google Maps, but you have to drive really slow, so it, it takes a while. I mean, you should plan on 15, 20 minutes if you're in a... a lower car. I think my friend said it took her about 30 minutes to get up here because she went so slow. We just come up the road to the end of the road. And that's where we're at right now. And the trail goes on down here.
just drove up Camp Adger Road and parked at the Blue Dot. Now I'll show you where the Green Trail Pinnacle comes out at mile 8 and 9.3 on the Red Blue Ridge Electric Co-op Passage. That will take us to the Blue Round Top Mountain Passage. Just off the parking lot, you'll come to this V. The right side goes down and picks up the trail at about mile eight. It's mostly downhill. The other side goes to Horse Mountain, which is more uphill. It comes out at about mile nine and a half on the map. Horse Mountain on the left is more direct and only a mile. Going right is closer to two miles with a climb at the end. Elevation is about the same going both directions. And here's where the trail comes out, Pinnacle Trail, comes out on Horse Mountain. This is the way you would go on the Blue Ridge Electric Co-op to get to Highway 178. This goes to Camp Adger parking lot, and this goes on to Round Top Mountain Passage. It's still the Blue Ridge Electric Co-op Passage at this point. This is where Pinnacle Trail meets Blue Ridge Electric Co-op Passage at mile eight. The trail on the left goes to Table Rock. This goes to the parking at Camp Adger Road, and this continues on up the Blue Ridge Electric Co-op Passage to Round Top Mountain. And up a little farther, this is where you get to the Round Top Mountain Passage from the Blue Ridge Electric Co-op Passage. Round Top Mountain is up there. The sign says to Sassafras Mountain. That's the direction you'd go if you're going uphill. And this goes back down the way you came on uh, the Blue Ridge Electric Co-op Passage. It looks like somebody's camped right here, right off the uh, parking lot. And here's the parking lot. I hope this helps you plan your hike of the beautiful but remote Round Top Mountain Passage of the Palmetto Trail. For more information and GPS coordinates, see the description below the video. And for more information on other Palmetto Trail passages, like and subscribe and check out the other videos on my channel.